Did superstar rapper Gunna just become hip hop's newest and biggest snitch? <laughs> Don't care, say mad. <laughs> well, we are gonna find out, but I can tell you before we dive into the details and I'll let you make your own decision that if you go to jail with Gunna, that nigga gonna get out. <laughs> No, but seriously. Here is a look at the moments Atlanta-born rapper Gunna walked out of the Fulton County Jail late yesterday afternoon. Now look, we've all been following the YSL Rico case that paints the lipstick and dress-wearing Atlanta boogeyman slash rapper Young Thug as the head of a very murderous and dangerous criminal organization. He's a gang member, dude. With more than 27 individuals being arrested and rumors that people started snitching immediately, things did not look good for the rapper Young Thug from the start, especially when historically, if you catch a Rico case, you're done. But the biggest questions in a lot of people's minds who were fan of the rapper is if Gunna, one of Young Thug's best friends and the person whose life he changed by helping to make him one of the hottest rappers in the game, would turn against him when facing some real time. Gunna been around me like six, seven years. He, mm -hmm. he, he in some of my old videos, y'all won't even know it's him. I never received one dollar from him. No, he's a snitch. Well, Gunna walked out of jail yesterday and Young Thug didn't after taking a plea and you're not going to believe the ridiculous shit that he said in his statement that he expects us to believe. You know what? We'll get into that. First, I am Joe Stone, and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Well, cool comes to pray, you come to stay, and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way where we find the most shocking and provocative news and take it to church. Now, on Wednesday, Gunna, real name Sergio Giovanni Kitchens, that's extra, an Atlanta rapper, left the Fulton County Jail after entering a historic Alfred plea to the charges brought against him with a large number of other alleged collaborators under the RICO Act. The Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, aka RICO Act, is a federal legislation in the U.S. that extends criminal penalties and creates a civil cause of action for activities committed on behalf of an active criminal organization. Meaning you guys are a gang, and that is something that they're going to have to prove in order to convict these people. Two of the people charged in this was Gunna and Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams. The indictment said that they are members of a gang called YSL, or Young Slime Life. The people named in the indictment are accused of being violent criminals in the city for the last few years in an offshoot of the Bloods gang. In addition to documenting William's social media activities and rap limits that make reference to YSL, the indictment provides a thorough account of other violent acts allegedly committed by the YSL members, including shootings and blah, 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 blah. And again, with a case like this, it's almost impossible to beat unless you tell on somebody else, which makes Gunna walking out of jail on something so critical where he was facing like 20 years seem kind of strange. Now, Gunna's lawyer said that he won't have to go to jail because he pleaded guilty and in the deal, he got five years in prison, but only had to serve one year. I'll push P. And I guess now pushing P means pushing please. <laughs> the time that he's already done counting as times that he was told that he'd have to serve in jail and the rest of his sentence is put on hold. However, he must do 500 hours of community service 350 of which must be spent educating young men and women about the risk of gangs and gang violence. Ironic. After doing his community service, the sentence will be completely lifted. You are free to go. Now this is where it gets interesting and this is where all the snitching rumors are coming from. In his statement slash plea deal, he openly admits that YSL is a gang. YSL is a music label and a gang. I don't know if they think we stupid or something, but uh, what? DJ Vlad, a very popular hip hop blogger, pointed out that this is a win for the people trying to keep his friends in jail. Vlad tweeted, having one of the top guys in the organization confirm why sell is a gang and that he saw members commit crimes will probably be one of the main points for the DA to prove the overall RICO charges. You mean he's a snitch? Yes. I don't understand how we're supposed to not think gonna snitch when the RICO case is to prove that the YSL organization is a gang and not just a record label and then one of the guys who was signed to the record label comes out and says well this is a whole gang but I'm not snitching okay well I guess we just all just ain't got ears here is gonna snitching or is he just telling his truth and in addition to that admission, when Gunna and Young Thug were picked up, there was drugs found in the car as well as a gun, and he said that those weren't his, but they were the only two in the car, which means that that will end up being on Thug, because if it's not yours and it's only you two in the car, then it's gotta be the other guys. Now, I don't call that snitching. I think that's just telling your truth, but you got a lot of other shit you gotta explain, fam. But yes, let us know what you think. Is Gunna snitch? Is Gunna innocent? Do you think that Young Thug will be able to still beat this case? Do you think that Young Thug is gonna go to jail for the rest of his 
his life? And will there be any street consequences? And do you think, because we are talking about gang activity, there will be any street consequences for what Gunner has done? I know there definitely will be in hip hop. I'll be surprised if he's able to continue his career with the same trajectory that it had before. But now that this information is out, the streets are talking and they have a lot to say. So we're going to do what we do every day and dive straight into the comments. Before y'all say gunna snitch, go look up what an alpha plea is. We just did. <laughs> alpha plea is like pleading guilty, but not pleading guilty. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're not really admitting guilt, but kind of. It's really weird. And his deal was special and again, historic in the way that it was used and how much leeway he was granted. Do you know what's super weird to me? All these publications leaving out the alpha plea out of Gunner's deal. Hey, we didn't. They know people are going to automatically assume he snitched. Nah, we went into the details. Y'all know better. But let us know what you think in the comments. We're going to wrap up the show here. I am Joe Stone. This is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Where cool comes to pray. You come to stay and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another one coming your way. Where we take the more shocking and provocative news and take it to church. Bow. I will see you in the next one.